are everybody and here we are we're outside Daddio's Donuts which is a donut and British bake shop um, so this is in Mississauga Ontario on the way to Toronto so just outside Toronto I was told I had to come here I just met up with my good friend mr. Adam Moran which is a British individual himself so I figured we gotta try some British baked goods more specifically some British donuts so I went with a deep-fried Wonder Bar donut and a maple bacon donut so the deep fried wonder bar donut which if you ask me is absolutely delicious so apparently it's a donut with a wonder bar in it uh, icing caramel peanuts on top wonder bar in the middle I think I already said that and it's fried obviously but all the donuts are and then a maple bacon donut so a maple donut well, sorry, maple icing on a donut with bacon on top. So, I don't even know where to start, but it looks delicious. I was told I had to come here and try them. So these donuts were, um, came to about $7 for the two. So, over three and a bit, about $3 and plus tax. Anyway, so seven bucks. Hope they're good. They have not bad weight to them. Seem very, uh, I don't know, kind of flaky, crispy, almost like a croissant kind of donut. But uh, let's give it a bite, see what we think. So maple, maple bacon, which looks really good. So let's go. Mm. Wow. Okay, so I had a bite with the bacon in it, which I mean, obviously tastes like bacon, but the sweetness of the icing there's definitely a saltiness to the donut. Like, I don't, like here, I'll look, like if you kind of look at the donut, it's not, it's it's like a risen donut, kind of like a yeast risen donut, but I'd almost say it's almost more like a croissant. So kind of like a cronut, if you are familiar with that term, croissant donut. So it's almost like a croissant donut, which has a lot of salt to it, natural, like, it's very salty. I'm not saying that in a bad way, but just compared to like a traditional Tim Hortons, Dunkin' Donuts, Krispy Kremes, I don't think of those donuts as being salty. I think of them as just being very yeast and dough, like, you know, they're like a, like a donut. Um, the maple is nice and light. It's a very light maple taste. I'm a big maple fan. So a little bit more maple, wouldn't complain about. In fact, I would actually almost say that it doesn't really taste like, it's not really like maple. It's almost more like a pancake syrup flavor, like an Aunt Jemima kind of thing. So it's kind of like a pancake syrup with bacon. So I'd actually call this more of like a breakfast donut rather than a maple bacon donut. That's definitely it. That's that flavor. Although, again, the cronut, the kind of croissant-like donut, just very good. Different texture, though. Almost a little firmer, a little more rigid, but having a definitely salt, a lot of salt to it. But, yeah, so pancake syrup, not like maple syrup, and then the bacon. And a croissant, it's like, it's like breakfast, breakfast donut. It is really good though. Some of the icing's running off from the sun. I don't know if I'd wonder how many calories are in this, but definitely very good. But yeah, so I wouldn't call it maple though. I'd call it pancake syrup. So breakfast donut on a croissant like donut. It's good. I have no complaints. Was it worth like $350, $340? I just wish it was actual maple rather than pancake syrup. But it was good. No complaints. Now the deep fried Wonder Bar donut. So this one was super heavy. Or it is very heavy, I should say. Again, kind of a. Uh, looks almost like the similar pancake maple glaze. I'm not sure about that. Then we have. Caramel, chocolate drizzle, a little bit of peanuts on top. And it is a lot heavier. Apparently there's Wonder Bar, deep fried Wonder Bar in here. 
So let's try it. I'm excited. Definitely that same kind of cronut croissant flaked donut. All right, I took a big bite. So you can kind of see, it's like a pocket where the chocolate bar is. So I don't think I actually got a bite, but the icing or something is peanut butter flavored, which makes sense because the Wonder Bar is like a peanut butter flavored chocolate bar. But so the main flavor of this is chocolate and peanut butter. Mm. Now I'm into the chocolate bar. So in the donut though, kind of around the chocolate bar, like right here, it's still kind of doughy. Like it almost seems like it's not quite cooked. Whereas I'll try to show. This is obviously cooked, the outside, but in the middle, it's still very wet and moist. Like, it's not cooked. So that's kind of different. It's kind of like you have an uncooked dough in with it, but I mean, it still tastes good. It's just kind of off that it's kind of throwing me off that it doesn't seem like it's cooked on the inside. Well, that bite had a lot of Wonder Bar in it. And it definitely tastes like Wonder Bar. Yeah, I'm not really digging the inside that's not cooked. Like, I'll try to show you. So this part, kind of where the chocolate is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's still gooey. Like, it's not cooked. So I'm not really enjoying that part, to be honest, but... The rest of it's good. Toppings are good. Definitely pretty rich. Yeah, just the not as cooked part. Well, everybody. That was me reviewing some donuts. It was good. Daddy-O's would recommend. Got some people screaming over there, but it was good. The Wonder Bar, though, I wouldn't... I don't know if I get it again just because that inside is not being cooked. But the uh, call to breakfast donut was really good. They had a whole bunch of other chocolate, caramel, fruity looking donuts. A lot of Halloween ones. So they're good. I would recommend. I had about $3.50 each. I'd try like one. I'd try one. Maybe two. But I wouldn't want to spend, you know, $36 on a dozen, which is the price on it. But everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. My hands are all sticky. Until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating. So, I mean, these, these things look pretty good, I'm not going to lie. They're awesome. <laughs>